Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my morning skincare routine. I have been asked several times by several subscribers if I can do my skincare routine and I have hesitated doing it because a lot of the products that I'm using currently are on the higher price spectrum. Now I have not always used these products or strictly high price you know items I can always suggest to you what I have used in the past that I think is excellent but at this point in my life I'm 63 years old I feel that I need the big guns so um, you know I'm willing to try something if it has some excellent reviews and if it's recommended by people that I trust and um, most of these products I have been using for over six months I'll show you the ones that are more recent. Some of them I've been using for a couple of years and I really do like them. And mainly what I'm trying to prevent on my, my particular skin is, of course, wrinkles, additional wrinkles or minimizing the ones that I have and getting rid of the dark pigmentation on my skin. And I'm sure this is sun damage from when I was young and, you know, we used to put baby oil when we went to the beach to make sure we got a nice tan. So I do have quite a bit, quite a few spots on both cheeks and that's what I'm trying to do. I don't believe I'm ever going to get rid of them, but I have been able to get them to be lighter and I do see that the products that I'm using in conjunction, is they're working. So I'm happy with the results so far as far as the wrinkles. I used to have one really deep set wrinkle on this eye right here and that's gone. So I'm really working on the one that I have over here and that one's still stubborn, doesn't want to go anywhere. But you know, it takes a village. So I do, I am going to share with you what I'm using at the current time. If you have any questions, if you want any suggestions, what I have used in the past that I have really liked. If you have younger skin, you may not need what I'm using right now. So take that into account. This is what's working for me now. I'm not saying that you should go out and get it and buy it. If I find one that is affordable and I think it's really, really good, I will let you know so that possibly you could consider it. So I'm gonna start in the way that I wash my face. So a lot of these products were recommended to me by Penn Smith uh, Skincare, and I've talked to you guys before about Penny's channel. If you guys are interested in skincare, affordable and high-end, you need to check her out. Penny is a wealth of information. I couldn't recommend her channel enough. Again, I will link it below. So I have been using the Rocher Posay, and this is a pigment clear, and this is a brightening foaming cream. Now this tube is $25, and it's the same price I've looked on Amazon, Ulta. She says it's, it's uh, also sold at Target. I haven't looked to see if Target carries it, but she says that it is. Now when I first started using this, I don't read instructions, you know, and I should be able to because it's pretty big writing and I can actually see it. And it says uh, morning and or evening, either with water, lather with water and apply. Massage gently, rinse thoroughly with water. And this is supposed to help with uh, brightening your skin and lightening your dark spots. Now, all you, I was using too much when I started. All you need is a pea-sized amount this really 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 lathers up a lot so what i do when i'm going to use it whether it's morning or evening and it doesn't say to do that but i figure it's not going to hurt me i dampen my face and i take a pea-sized amount i rub it between my hands i put it all over my face especially the parts where my skin's my uh, spots are and i leave it there while i'm brushing my teeth then once my teeth i'm done with brushing my teeth i rinse my face it lathers up really nice it doesn't feel doesn't leave your skin dry or you know squeaky how you feel like it's taking all the all the uh, oils good oils from your skin it really makes it look really nice i already have a backup and now i know how to use this so this should last you i would say at least eight months if not longer if you use it properly for the longest time i was using too much and i do use it as my last cleanser after I remove my makeup at night, I use this as my last cleanser. Sometimes I use this with my Clarisonic. It's the one that I put on there to just, you know, massage everything through and take the, all my makeup out and a little bit in the morning. So I do really enjoy this. 
Okay, then I use my Pixie Glow Tonic in the morning and at night. At night, I use the one that has retinol in it. In the morning, I use just the regular one. And this is a Glow Tonic and it is exfoliating to tonic. I just put it on a cotton pad and I just go over my entire face. After I'm done with that, I use, I actually looked, uh, looked at her video again to see how she pronounced these things okay after I'm done with that I use the um, the urea moisture lotion by Suki Hara I did really good Suki Uki Hara <laughs> okay I will link everything below I get this on Amazon and this was not expensive this was like I think $14 or something like that and what I normally do, I'm going to do it now because I already did my toner. Well, I'll do it again. It won't hurt. We'll go through it because I haven't done it yet. So usually I just go over it with my toner. And I do everything. I even go down my neck. Oh, that sounded kind of funny. I hit something there. With a cotton swab. Okay, then I take this and I just put... A few drops it really doesn't you have to be careful because you can get a lot out I warm it in my hands and then I just pat it all over my face everywhere I go down my neck and then what's left on my on the palms of my hand I put it on my hands because I also I don't have too many but I also do have um, some spots on my hands. But really, for being 63, I really don't have too many spots on my hands. My fingers are the ones that look horrible because I have arthritis, but that's another video. Okay, and then the other essence that I use, this one is by Hado Labo. And this one is for, um, it has albutin, and it's hydrating, and it's a pigment inhibitor. So this one again, I put a few drops in my hand just so that it makes, I don't know if you guys can see, like a little puddle in the palm of my hand. I warm it up and again, I just put it all over my face. I include my, my eyelids, not eyelids, my lower down my neck my hands then once once I'm done with that I use vitamin C now the one that I have been using is a drunk elephant hidden vitamin C and I really do enjoy this I have been using this for about two years now I really do think it has made a big difference in my skin I just do one pump and again I just put it all over my face And I think it has helped with um, the texture on my skin, the dark spots on my skin. So where I try to put the most of it is on my cheeks because that's where I have my spots. And what's left, I always do it on the back of my hands. Any skin product that I use, night and day, whatever is left, I always do my hands. And if it's something that I still have some left over, then I go do my elbows. Okay, once I'm done with this, I like to use, and this was recommended by Jessica Braun. She says she had been using this for a while and she noticed that it did light, made a difference in her spots. And this is called Brighten Up by Nooni is the name of the brand. And this is also uh, to create radiance and it's a dual essence. So this has two different chambers. And what I do is I do one pump of each. And I mix them together. And I use this both day and night. So far, everything that I've shown you, except for the vitamin C, I use day and night. And again, all over my face, concentrated on my cheeks. And the back of my hands.
Okay, and then I normally, this is like $25 at Ulta, so I wait till I have a 20% coupon. I've been using it for about four months, and I'm only like halfway through the bottle. I can actually see, um, and it looks like I have like half, half of the bottle left, so that's not too bad. So the next thing I do is I use my eye serum, and this is the also by Drunk Elephant, and this is a C-Tangle multivitamin eye cream. They call it an eye cream. I use it as a serum. And I take less than a pump because it's too much for, if I do a whole pump, it's too much. And I can't waste it. It's not, it's not cheap. So I usually just put some on the bottom. And I go over my eyelid also. I know a lot of people don't like to put eye creams on their eyelids. I do. I try to go a little bit over my eyebrow so that all of this is lifted. I need all the lifting I can get. And then I go to the, the other side. I try to hit that wrinkle I have there. And I try to do this like while I still have some stuff remaining for my face so that it sinks in and then I can use my eye cream. And remember your ring finger it's the best finger to apply any eye product. It's the finger that has the least amount of pressure on your hands. And this is a very delicate area in on your face. So you want to be a, just as gentle as possible. And even though, I mean, it may, looks like, it may look like I'm doing things rough, I'm not. I'm being very, very gentle. I don't need to destroy anything in that area. That's warm in here. Okay, so now I'm going to use my moisturizer. I'm the one that I have been using for about two years. It's this one right here, and it's by Drunk Elephant. And this is a Protini Polypeptide Cream. And this has been doing wonders for my skin. Again, I feel that all these products in combination are really helping with the texture of my skin, with the wrinkles, with everything. And I love hold on every time I touch my my uh <laughs> my throat I sound funny I love the way that these products work together um I, I love the packaging of drunk elephant you kind of squeeze up and the amount of product that you need comes out and then you don't touch the entire product that's inside so that you know you don't contaminate it or put any germs on it. It's the same thing with the eye cream. They twist up. Now, the only thing that I found that I don't like from Drunk Elephant is their sunscreen. I don't like it. It doesn't play well with my foundations. I find it that it pills up. You know how when you put foundation and you get those little, I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it, but just breaks that up. I, I've tried using it several times. Okay, so now that I have everything else on my face, I'm going to do my eye cream. Now, for the longest time, this is like the second tub that I have been using during the day at night. I use a different one. And this is by Ola Herrickson. This is a banana brightening eye cream. And I really do enjoy this eye cream. I think that it sinks into your skin really nice. Um, it, it's, not, it's very moisturizing, but not it's not that emollient that you're... Makeup is going to go funny or break up your makeup or your concealer. It really does work and play very well with foundation and concealers. But for the last, I just started using this two days ago, so I can't give you any kind of recommendation. And what I started doing is whenever I start using a new product, I'm keeping a log so that I can actually see if there's a difference. Um, you know, I take a picture and I keep a log to see if I can actually find, you know, any difference in my skin, let's say in 30 days or something like that. Okay, this was recommended by Graceful Beauty. And if you guys are not familiar with her channel, I will link it below. She is such a beautiful lady. I mean, she is gorgeous. And she's so sweet and her, she has so much good information. And she does a lot of skincare. She does hauls. Uh, she does, um, you know, get ready, get ready with me. So she's she has a really good channel. I will link it. 
um, she started using this Paula's Choice sent this to her she's been using Paula's Choice for over 20 years and this is a brand new product and this is the clinical ceramide and rich firming eye cream and let me read to you what it says okay th these are this is what Paula's Choice says about this cream it says this hydrating eye cream visibly smooths under eye wrinkles and concentrated blend of five replenishing ceramides, four forms of brightening vitamin C, two peptides, and clinically proven retinol. Vitamin C visibly firms and brightens eye area. Retinol quickly reduces the look of deep wrinkles. Um, rich creamy lotion intensely hydrates. Use twice a day as needed. So she said um, that she had been using it for a week and she noticed that everything was tighter around her eye area that she felt her uh, eyelids were tighter that just the the entire area was tighter so I looked it up and there were a couple of other reviews on YouTube people have been using it uh, for a short period of time that Paula Choi sent them the um, item and they were raving about it they were saying what a difference it made that it didn't take 30 days for them to even notice a difference so I decided to try it the day that I purchased it I think it was a day that it was launched and I received it like today is the six I received it like I believe it was Friday so that's when I started using it the first time I used it was Friday night so um, again you just take one pump I love these dispensers with pumps like this because you don't have to I don't I mean I do use the ones that you have to stick your finger in it but but really this is probably even too much but I apply it all over my, uh, my eye area and I usually you should try to go like over here on the side because I do get like texture here so I try to make sure that I hit everything in the eye area a little bit above my eyebrow and then kind of spread it now this one feels like a little sticky when you first put it on I mean the banana um, eye cream feels smoother um, this actually feels a little stickier but it does spread and once it dries once it sinks into your skin then you don't get that sticky feeling it's like everything else that you put on top looks beautiful so um, oh yeah and then I have the other eye So I just started using it. I can get back to you guys and let you know what I think after I've been using it for like 30 days. So that will be like the first week in February. So now this is less expensive than what I use at night. At night I use the um, Algenist Eye Balm and that's like $65. And I usually get it whenever um, Ulta has a 20% discount. And this one was 48 and there's half an ounce and this should last a while though because you really don't need a lot at one time but I mean lately my dark circles have been crazy so I should be able to notice if this helps but I've only been using it two days um really let's see five times so and then my last step is sunscreen and this again was recommended by Penny and this is the Skin Aqua Seraphit and it's SPF 50 and I like this because it's like a gel it looks creamy but it almost feels like a gel when you put it on your face and this looks like a lot but I do go down my chest and the palms of my hands but this really sinks in it feels like a moisturizer more than an SPF it does not leave a white cast on your on your skin I hate SPF that leaves a white cast on my skin so I really do enjoy this and this dries nice my makeup every foundation that I have used with it so far has looked amazing and I've probably been using it for about a month so and it wasn't expensive again I got this through Amazon and it's a Korean brand so I really can't read anything back there but I like it so this is it this is my last step and then after this I put on my primer and then I go on with 
my my foundation and everything else that I put on my face. So this is my routine in the morning. Um, like I said, once in a while I may change something and I'll let you know how long I've been using each one of these products. This I've been using for about, I would say about four years. I've been using it for a long time. Okay, these two probably for about four months. This I've been using for at least a year. The Drunk Elephant I've been using for about two years. This has been the product that I've had in my arsenal for the longest. This has been about three months. And this is the only thing that's a newbie and it's only been a couple of days. And this again really 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 nice i mean i'll try anything to lighten this this is the only part of my skin that really bugs me because i mean with aging you're gonna get wrinkles you're gonna get you know from saggy skin yeah i can try to help that but i mean i don't think that i that is so bad for being 63 but these spots oh my gosh they have bothered me for so long i wish i could just lighten them up a little more but anyway they're a lot lighter than they used to be so i'm happy with the results so far so this is it guys i hope that this was informative um like i say by no means am i saying to go out there and spend a bunch of money on your skincare there's many many um products out there that are really good now this isn't too bad this is a really good eye cream and it's 38 dollars, which i really don't think is too bad for an amazing eye cream so um, this is something you can use in the morning and at night i choose to use it in the morning because i like something a little heavier and more emollient at night but um you know these are affordable and so it's a sunscreen and you know you just uh, this this is borderline because usually i think that this size bottle is like 45 dollars now pixie i got this on pixie pixie website and when i got it i had a coupon for like 20 percent off and this is like three times what you normally get in the smaller bottles which is usually what you can find at target on their website so what i do is i just keep keep refilling this one but it will last you a long time because you don't need that much you just need like a pump and a cotton ball to go over your entire face so i've had this for a while and it does last a while but i feel like you have to invest in your skin your skin is your canvas so you have to have a nice canvas in order for the paint to look nice on it so um i rather it's at least at this time in my life i rather invest in my skincare and you know sometimes you can use you know less expensive you know eyeshadow or you know foundation but your skincare is very important. So, and remember to always, always, always use sunscreen. It doesn't matter how young or how old you are. If you start young, you won't end up with these spots on your face when you're 63. I mean, I had them on my face way before 63. So start now. So this is it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you want any suggestions, another more less expensive brands, let me know. I love you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.